right. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Sanjay Rambadran, Chair of the Metro Transit Authority. First and foremost, let me thank the University of Houston's Cougar Dolls and Texas Southern University's cheerleaders for bringing the energy to this pep rally today. We operated the region's first autonomous shuttle on the campus of TSU and will now be expanding it to get to U of H and to the Eastwood Transit Center in the months to come. So on behalf of Metro, we look forward to supporting the NCAA Final Four, which will no doubt be one of the biggest and most successful events that the city of Houston will host in 2023. To that end, we are making significant adjustments to our service to ensure that those who live here and use Metro every single day, as well as fans and visitors to the region, will have a safe, clean, reliable and accessible and friendly transit experience during the activity packed four days. NCAA, Astros, Rockets, Music Fest, Fan Fest, you name it. First, everyone will be able to ride all three of the metro rail lines, the green, red and purple lines for free. Courtesy of, and that is thanks to Coca-Cola Southwest Beverages, a proud partner of the 2023 NCAA Men's Final Four. That means from Friday, March 31st, tomorrow, through Monday, April 3rd, whether you're going to work, going to school, shopping, NCAA events, or any other events downtown, you will not have to pay a fare, again, on the red, green, or purple lines. We anticipate increased passenger loads, and we are ready. And because of that, we have over 200 members of the Metro family who have volunteered to be along the system, help with wayfinding, be ambassadors, and assist customers, and ensure their safety as well. Just look out for the Team Metro volunteer t-shirts that folks are wearing. I want to thank everybody from Metro that's volunteered to make sure everybody has a fun time. You know, this wouldn't be possible as every part of the agency has had a role to play in getting us ready for this. Houston is once again on the national stage, and thanks to the effort of Metro's volunteers, we will once again shine on the national stage. And the person leading this effort for Metro, who is the lead transportation coordinator for the local host committee of the NCAA, Men's Final Four, Metro's own Chuck Buckshot. Let's give him a hand. So for more on our operational plans, the leader of the 4100 plus strong Metro family, our president and CEO, Tom Lambert. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. You know, we stand ready to work with all of our regional partners to ensure a successful Final Four here in Houston. So what you need to know if you plan on riding Metro, the red, green, and purple lines will operate on their regular schedules. For the red line, that means every six to 12 minutes, and the purple and green lines every 12 to 18 min minutes. However, we will be closely monitoring uh, passenger loads, and we expect a lot of passengers on the system. We'll have trains on standby that will immediately be put into service to increase our carrying capacity and the frequency on the lines if we need to do so. The bottom line is, if you miss a train, chill, relax, it's okay. Another one's gonna come right behind that one. And make sure that you don't get in a hurry. We wanna make sure that everything we're doing, we do safely. So if the train's ahead of you and it's moving down the tracks, just relax, the next one's coming and we'll get you where you need to go. Remember, there are also several local bus routes that travel to NRG, the George R. Brown Convention Center, Toyota Center, and Discovery Green. And the fare is only $1.25 on the bus network. That's pretty cheap. Uh, and you can get there and use your pass, uh, the Metro Ride app, to get where you need to go. In, in addition to being convenient, if you purchase a mobile ticket, it's valid for three hours to transfer, so you've got opportunities to do what you need to do. Whether you choose the local bus or Metro Rail, are you using our Metro Paratransit service? Remember that all Metro Transit vehicles are fully accessible. 
anyone can use our services to get to where they need to go. We also have a parking facility at Metro, and that's the Fan and South Park and Ride. So if you want to use that, park at Fan and South, the cost is $15 a day. You then can ride the rail system to all the venue locations. But if you don't want to use Fan and South and you see all the private lots along the rail corridors, go there and park, come and ride rail, and again, it's for free. Uh, so we can get you where you need to go. Uh, all of this information is on Metro's website, ridemetro.org. Uh, we'll continue to push out information. But as the chair said, the only way we're going to do this successfully is because of the volunteers at Metro. I'm supposed to say volunteers cheer. Yay! If Tracy would have only given me a pom-pom, I could have done this better. But they didn't give me one. So. But anyway, I want to thank... Oh, there we go. Hey. Yay! I want to thank all the Metro employees that will continue to make sure our community shines on the world stage, as the chairman said. We know how to do major events. We know how to get people where they need to get safely, reliably, and having a great time, whether they live in our community or they're visiting our community. And so we're going to talk a bit about making sure people stay safe. Uh, I want to take this opportunity now to introduce Assistant Chief of the Metro Police Department, Chief Dennis Ribeiro. Dennis. Thank you, CEO Lambert. First, let me start by saying that the women, that the men, the women and men of the Metro Police Department, we stand ready to make sure that everyone attending this event, participating in any of these events, uh, can have a safe and enjoyable experience and enjoy all the fun in us showcasing our city in one of these major events. Um, I, I do want to recognize uh, Assistant Chief Lewis. Uh, Chief Lewis and his team were vital. Thank you. Thank you. Chief Lewis and his team were vital in uh, making our plan, and as always, our plans are integrated with our local partners. So we're working together. Uh, you're you're going to see us stand side by side with other agencies and, and protecting everybody going to and from and attending this event. We're going to have additional officers, fair inspectors, and rail and bus supervisors on hand to help with everything from giving directions to responding to any emergency situation. If anyone needs assistance, we have, Metro has several ways that you can uh, get a hold of us and let us know. First off, there's a call button on every platform and you'll see them are delineated by the blue lights. So if you have an emergency, you can push that button and you'll be connected real time to one of our dispatchers at MPD Dispatch, who can then get you the assistance that you need. There's also on every rail platform uh, cameras that we have that we use not only for security purposes for op but for operational purposes. So we'll have those available and in use. Also, we're going to have, if you're on the train and you need assistance, uh, the MPD number is, connect is commonly displayed up on the train so you can see it and call us. But one of the best ways, the easiest ways to reach us is at your fingertips. It's your cell phone. Uh, there's Pound MPD. There's also our app, MPD Connect. With this app, you can contact dispatch uh, and text with them real time. You can send them pictures and video. So again, let me close by just saying that the safety and security of every Metro passenger and every citizen coming to this, and every person coming to this event is our top priority. We're proud to host the city. We're proud to help the city host this event and to make it an enjoyable experience for everybody and to let everybody know that if you want to host a major event, our city is the place to do it. So thank you very much. Everybody have a great weekend, and uh, thank you. Questions? Any questions? All right, Bishop okay. here. Let's go have a fun, safe time over the next few days. Enjoy, everyone. Thank you all for being here. Thank you all again for coming.